The promising Oxford coronavirus vaccine is entering its third and final phase in the U.S. NBC News correspondent Miguel Almaguer reports on the 30,000 adult volunteers that are participating in the trial. Health officials across the country are worried about the next couple of days, in particular the upcoming holiday, saying if Americans don't social distance, the virus could surge again in this country after weeks of progress. Meantime, there is also positive news on a possible vaccine. Oxford University and AstraZeneca, who have partnered together, say by Thanksgiving they could know how effective this new vaccine could be. They're testing it on some 30,000 people across the country. A bit of good news. The final round of testing, known as phase three clinical trials, are showing early signs of promise in what could become the world's first coronavirus vaccine. At testing sites across the country, participants will be given two shots, one month apart. 23-year-old Jacob Serrano is the first American to be dosed with either the vaccine candidate or a placebo. I'm hoping it could be the 100% cure. I'm hoping this could really just end it all. Researchers at Oxford, partnering with AstraZeneca, say the vaccine, a genetically altered virus, teaches the immune system to generate COVID-19 antibodies. With some 30,000 adult volunteers set to take place in the trials, the FDA says the vaccine needs to protect 50 percent of people to be considered effective. It could be distributed in phases, with healthcare workers and the vulnerable, like those with underlying health conditions, getting it first. So this one is one of the ones that's leading the race and is one of the ones that looks promising to get us that vaccine as soon as possible. With preliminary data on the vaccine's effectiveness expected around Thanksgiving, the U.S. coronavirus death toll is now over 185,000. For Jacob Serrano, it's personal. He's lost seven family members to COVID. Do you think that uh, what you're doing now could prevent future fatalities? That's the main reason I'm doing any of this. It's because I, I want to prevent that. I don't believe anyone deserves to lose their life, especially through a virus that we could have stopped. For all Americans, a reason for hope amid the loss. Health officials across the country say the next couple of days, including that big holiday weekend, will be critical. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.